Hello and welcome to a video about our latest publication, True Adapt, learning smooth online trajectory adaptation with bounded jerk, acceleration and velocity in joint space. My name is Jonas Kiemel and this is joint work with Robin Weidemeyer, Pascal Meissner and Torsten Kröger from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Our research is motivated by industrial tasks like welding, sealing and grinding in which a robot has to manipulate its surroundings while being in motion. In many cases, offline planning is a feasible option to compute a suitable trajectory. However, for this to work, we need to know the initial state of our environment and we need a model for interactions between the robot and its surroundings. Unfortunately, offline planning is susceptible to various kinds of errors. One problem is that some environmental parameters are complicated to measure and might need to be estimated. Considering the example of grinding, that includes friction coefficients and also the degree of wear of the abrasives. But even if all parameters are exactly known, the model to describe interactions might not be accurate enough. For instance, it is hard to precisely predict welding distortion. Finally, external disturbances during task execution might introduce errors. To illustrate the influence of small errors, this video shows a robot that succeeds in keeping a ball at its initial spot during its movement. However, if the initial position and the size of the ball are slightly changed, the same trajectory fails to balance the ball and the distance to the initial spot increases over time. To prevent the error from accumulating, online trajectory adaptation based on sensory feedback is required. Although pre-calculated trajectories are usually too imprecise for direct execution, they can be used as reference trajectories for online adaptations. In this work, we address the problem of learning online adaptations given a reference trajectory and sensory feedback during task execution. The resulting trajectories are required to be smooth and to comply with velocity, acceleration and jerk limits of the robot joints. In addition, all calculations need to be fast to ensure that online adaptations can be computed in real time. Referring to related work, control theory provides widely used methods to implement feedback loops. In contrast to our approach, Designing a controller requires a model of the process and the actuators. For tasks like welding or grinding, such a model is hard to find. But even if the physics can be described accurately, the resulting control architecture is specific to a single task, making it inflexible. With respect to robotics, it is often more natural to design a controller in task space rather than joint space. When designing a controller in task space, special care must be taken to handle singularities and kinematic redundancies. In recent years, model-free reinforcement learning has been applied to industrial tasks like grasping, assembly and dexterous manipulation. Reinforcement learning is a very flexible technique, but as of yet, the generated motions are often slow or jerky and do not respect kinematic joint limits. We evaluate our approach with two versions of a ball and play task, where the goal is to stay close to a reference trajectory while balancing a ball on a plate. The first version allows the ball to move on the whole plate. We use this task for ablation studies as the required amount of training data is moderate. Version 2 is a little bit harder, since the ball is expected to stay at its initial position on the plate. This version is used for sim to real experiments, which are shown later. In both cases, seven robot joints are controlled. To generate reference trajectories, three board positions are sampled at random and connected via spline interpolation. The resulting Cartesian path is transferred to joint space and parameterized in a time-optimal way. Next, 
the trajectory is uniformly sampled, which means that the time span between points is identical. For the following experiments, we set this time span to 50 milliseconds. Finally, each trajectory is assigned to either the training set or the test set. The core of our approach is a neural network, which is invoked every 50 milliseconds. The current kinematic state of the robot joints, the following points of a reference trajectory, and task-specific sensory feedback are given as input to the network. The network outputs an acceleration set point for each robot joint. If the resulting trajectory would exceed joint limits, the accelerations are clipped to the closest permitted value. Next, the kinematic state of the robot joints at the beginning of the next time step is calculated. This state is fed back to the network at the following decision step. In addition, it is used to calculate the position deviation to the reference trajectory. If the deviation is smaller than a specified threshold, the trajectory is executed for the next 50 milliseconds and then the signals are read in. During training, the sensor data is used to calculate a task-specific reward. The reward signal is multiplied with the deviation penalty, which ensures that the trajectory roughly follows its reference, and a smoothness penalty which prevents jerky movements. The resulting reward is used to train the network via reinforcement learning. To this end, the problem is formalized as a Markov decision process, which is composed of a state space, an action space, and a reward function. The state contains information on the kinematic state and the reference trajectory, as well as feedback from the current task execution. For the ball and play task, that includes the current position, velocity and acceleration of all joints, a number of future waypoints and the position of the ball on the plate. Ablation studies for all parts of the state can be found in the accompanying paper. This video focuses on the importance of sensory feedback. For that purpose, we analyzed the success rate of our ball and plate task for different settings. A trajectory is considered a successful if the ball stays at its initial place. As expected, the reference trajectories fail to balance the ball. For our first experiment, a network is trained with sensory feedback, but the ball position is not updated during the movement, which makes the network believe that the ball is at its target position. This open loop setting leads to a success rate of 34%. If the network is trained from scratch without sensory feedback, a success rate of 62% is reached. Finally, if the network has access to the ball position during training and evaluation, more than 98% of the trajectories are successful. Considering the action space, our goal is to enable smooth and dynamic movements that comply with kinematic constraints. More specifically, the generated trajectory should be continuously differentiable and it should not exceed specified limits on the velocity, acceleration and jerk of each joint. These goals can be achieved by predicting joint accelerations. So every time the network is invoked, it outputs a target acceleration which should be reached at the beginning of the next decision step. Between decision steps, the acceleration is linearly interpolated, which makes the final trajectory a cubic spline. To prevent the robot from exceeding joint limits, we calculate at each decision step the range of accelerations that can be safely executed. In this figure, the permitted range is represented by the green lines. If the predicted acceleration is outside of the permitted range, it is clipped to the closest admissible value. Details on the computation of the acceleration limits can be found in the paper referenced below. So let's check how a trajectory generated by a trained agent looks like. On the right hand side, 
we can see the predicted accelerations and the position set points, which are computed by integration. The video on the left shows that the resulting trajectory is smooth and succeeds in keeping the ball at its initial place. To learn well-performing trajectories, a suitable reward definition is needed. In our case, the network should generate smooth trajectories, which roughly follow the reference but optimize the performance of the desired task. To accomplish all objectives, a task-specific reward is multiplied with a smoothness penalty and a deviation penalty. The two versions of our ball and play task shown before differ only with respect to their task-specific reward. If the ball is allowed to be balanced in the whole plate, the reward is decreased near the margin of the plate only. In contrast, the reward of our in-place version is reduced as soon as the ball leaves its initial position. Our approach aims at optimizing real-world applications, but as of yet, the training phase is too time-consuming to be performed by real robots. To circumvent this problem, we train our neural networks in simulation and transfer the resulting policies to reality. The following videos show how the reference trajectories perform in the real world. We can see that without online adaptations, the ball immediately leaves its initial position and collides with the border of the plate. In contrast, a trained agent managed to keep the ball close to its initial place. The videos show that the network can handle different reference trajectories and initial ball positions. For quantitative evaluation, we conducted 50 rollouts from 5 different initial ball positions, leading to a success rate of 82%. Our network continued to perform well, even if the mass, size or material of the ball was varied. Comparing a simulated and a real trajectory, the differences appear rather small, which makes our approach well suited for sim to real transfer. In summary, we presented a real-time capable approach to learn online adaptations based on sensory feedback. Our technique produces smooth motions and ensures that kinematic constraints are respected. As part of our evaluation, we trained a neural network to predict online adaptations for a 7 GOF ball on play task. We showed that sensory feedback is essential and successfully transferred a policy from simulation to a real robot. That's all for today. Many thanks for your attention and goodbye.